Maybe you should give a little update. I've been driving this thing all week. Put lots of kilometers on it back and forth to school and other places. The brakes have been great. Um, the leaks are all fixed now. No more coolant leaks. No more... No leaks from that transmission uh, seal that I did way back in the second or third episode. Um, let's see. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long time. Full tank. No leaks. Managed to fit 55 liters ish in there. Nice. Things are going pretty good. There's still lots of jobs to do. So the strut bearing, you should be able to hear it if I try and do some steering. Let's see here. Hopefully you could see at the end of the last clip that the tire would turn and then the spring would lag behind. It was actually stuck and then it would bump, clunk, and uh, come loose and move after we don't, the rest of the assembly had already moved, causing a big bind. So that's the bearing at the top of the strut binding. I'll play it again. So hopefully you can watch for the tire to move and then the spring to clunk. So this is where that bearing is. Um, in the top of the strut, it's one of these. Anyway, um, it turns out I have a couple of used ones here. Last time I did uh, struts, it's, when you use struts, it's always a good idea to replace both the bearings because they eventually get rusty, crusty, and, and seize up like, like that one is doing. Um, but since I have a couple, well, I thought, why not clean one up, re repack it with grease, if it's not too bad, and put it back in. So, I picked the one that was the stickiest of the two that I had. So I'll put this back in here, leave that in the box for another day. And let's work on this one. Um, I'm gonna put on some gloves. big stuff off. I like to use release all, which is just mineral oil and carbon dioxide in a can because it's non-toxic and works as a bit of a solvent, but is mostly a lubricant. Um, it's like WD-40, but except no mysterious ingredients. It's just mineral oil and it's non-toxic, which WD-40 is who knows. Um, condenser under pressure, and that's the only danger with this thing, is that it's pressurized. Other than that, it's perfectly safe. You can put it on your baby's skin if you want. I think it's just baby oil, mineral oil in a can. Just, just rubbing my ball bearings. Give it another. Towel, maybe, and I don't want to lose any. Come here, guys. Get over here on the clean paper towel. Alrighty. Mm. Starting to look a bit better.
All right, let's reassemble this. Let's give this final wipe. And just say that's as good as it's gonna get. So I guess you'd call this like a thrust bearing. It's a massive thrust bearing. It takes the whole weight of the car, really. It's all transmitted through these however many balls here. Let's install it kind of dry. But like I said, the release all stuff, mineral oil is a, it's a bit of a lubricant, but let's see. Do the old install it dry trick, see if it spins, and then we'll pack it with grease. In fact, I won't put the uh, cover on just yet. I'll just put the two halves together. Sounds terrible. It's all those little pits rubbing together. Hmm. Is that going to be okay, do you think? Ah, you know what? Let's load it up with grease. I'm uh, just going to clean the top part. Yeah, the cap here. Or forget. Ugh. Well, that's a lot of a lot of paper towels for one little bearing. But I mean. I don't want to waste paper towels, but you got to get this gunk off of there. Whoop, careful. All right, let's pack the, what are we going to use for grease? Synthetic brake lube. Sounds good. Now, I wonder if I can just, hmm, hello. How you doing? That right around that side, stick it down, make them like an Oreo cookie or something. Let's really pack this in here. All right, that's plenty. Put the uh, cover on there. Wow, that was easy. Snaps together. Spin it around. Sounds a whole lot better. Oh, yeah, it feels feels pretty good. Oh, don't mind that. That's just where I cracked it. Yeah, feels not so bad. Just gonna clean up the outside a little bit because we don't really need grease on the outside. This is Germany. Made in Germany. Quality. Precise. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, I'm happy with that. One refurbished strut bearing. Well, I was able to uh, do the old strut compressor technique to get the spring compressed and Disassemble the nut, nut and the uh, top of the strut while it was still in the car. Um, and I got the bearing out. I'm going to drop the bearing on first. Just put it on the end of that shaft and it'll sit down into there. Huh. You can tilt this since there's nothing locating at the top. Okay, so there's the new bearing on. It's kind of on my fingers here. And then I should be able to slip this rubber mount up over the top. Easy peasy. As long as the springs don't, the compressors don't let go and sever all my fingers right now, I'll be fine. All right? All right. There. There you go. So that's on. I'll just throw the nut down through the top.
storage act under there somewhere for some reason. Okay, one string will help out. Okay, so the reason the floor jack is underneath here is to get this stuff lined up and pumped up somewhat back into position so that I can, um, there we go, back up into there, so that I can reconnect the sway bar end link. You gotta disconnect the... Uh, sway bar in order to get enough droop but in order to reconnect the sway bar you're going to want to jack the lower control arm up so it lines up with the bolt hole yeah. anyway in order to keep the uh, strut shaft from spinning in the body you need to counter hold it with allen key and a hand It's going to be jammed on top. This little dropout prevention device keeps your strut from dropping out when you raise the car. That's at the bottom. Normally, I don't think that's supposed to spin off. I think it's supposed to drop on. It might have developed a thread for some reason. Not on there. Easy to remember. Socket. L wrench. That. All back together. What you need to do is put the whole weight of the car on it and see if it still makes that awful noise. I'm going to take the jack out from under the lower control arm. There. <laughs> I still have to put the tire back on. Wait, you see what that cup does, right? It just keeps the strut from falling out because these ones aren't bolted in. They're just like that on this particular model. tire back on. Okay, similar to this earlier, I'm going to turn the steering wheel and see if we get that clunking noise with the grease up there. Clean grease. So what you should have seen there is the spring turning with spring turning with the wheel at all times. So that's done.
Well, there's no more clunks when turning the steering wheel, and uh, it even feels lighter to turn, so I guess we're winning for now. Uh, I'm not going to bother ordering a new one because uh, the other one that I took out looks so good after I cleaned it up that I'll just put that one in if we get any more clunking. It's so easy to change. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.